Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It looks like we've got another like one minute. Some people are still watching a couple ads here. But that's okay. Hello. Second afternoon slash evening stream in a row feels like Christmas. Yeah, when we were making our schedule for this week, um, realized that I'm doing something every single night this week. Fresh off the heels of live on stream being like, yeah, I'm trying to do less stuff in the evenings. <laughs> I'm trying to like have my evenings like be for me, you know? <laughs> but to be fair, what a clickable link. I know. Oh my gosh. Did you guys realize if you do exclamation point Clem in chat, there's a link you can click? It's so crazy. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, hi everybody. Welcome. We're gonna we're gonna sit and chat for um for a few minutes here, let people filter in uh before we start playing this. Hello, hello. Yeah, look. If a company wants to come to me and say, hello, we have a game that focuses on puzzles and exploration um, and has kind of a creepy vibe. Would you like to play it? I will say yes. <laughs> I will say yes. What is Clem? Um, Clem is the name of a game. It's a game that we're going, do you like my glitter tattoo by the way? I live with an artiste. Um, it's a game. It's a game that literally came out today. It's on Switch and PC. Uh, it is a, a, a narrative puzzle game um, that has, you know, some uh, exploration sort of elements to it as well. Uh, and it all sort of centers around a weird house where weird stuff is going on. And we find, um, I believe, I haven't played it yet, but I believe the word Clem is written on a book that we as the main character find. So we potentially by the end of the stream also still won't know what Clem means. Sick tats, Dukes. Thank you. I know. I literally just made a <laughs> TikTok right before I started this stream because um, I was going down this rabbit hole watching all these videos where this person was making these really cute bracelets. I was like, oh my gosh, I should make one for Clarky for Valentine's. That would be so fun. And then realized, <laughs> what am I saying? I can't make this for my child for Valentine's. She would be furious that I did it without her and didn't teach her how to do it. <laughs> she would be like, mommy, that's so pretty. Why did you do it without me? No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'll make one for Sam. <laughs> this is the benefit of having two Valentines. Okay. Two different people I can make a cute thing for. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Clark was using the sewing machine when uh, my sister-in-law and my little niece and nephew were over. 
And my sister-in-law was like, oh my gosh, you're so good about like teaching her these sorts of things. And I was like, thank you very much. But in my head, I was like, my kid is just so furious about the idea of not knowing how to do something <laughs> that I'm kind of held at gunpoint. Like I have to, I have to teach her how to do it <laughs> or, or, you know, who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> it's fun though. It is fun. It's very fun to teach her stuff. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's a sponsored stream, huzzah. A puzzle game sponsored stream. Are you doing a craft without me? Exactly, yeah. Like sometimes I'll sit in her room and be like, oh my gosh, you know what I should do? I should take the wallpaper off of one of these walls and like paint it one of her favorite colors. And, you know, X, Y, Z. And then I'll think, no, I can't do that. And I think that that is, I think that's like kind of a universal thing, unless it's a really specific, you know, like type of kid. Um, I think most kids don't want you doing stuff in their room without them, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but even if I said to her, like, hey, while you're at school today, I'm going to paint one of these walls, uh, this pretty pink color that you picked out, she'd be like, no. Wait until I get home. How dare you? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> All righty. Let's make sure we've got an adorable clickable link with exclamation point Clem or exclamation point sponsored. We've got a Clem image underneath the stream that when you click it also goes to that super adorable link that is in exclamation point Clem or exclamation point sponsored. And the game is installed, so we're good to go. Glad to catch you live. I'm glad you're here. Let's do this. Shall we play a game? Let's play a game. If I can find my headphones, I've, I've done it. I've done it. Don't worry, guys. I know you were all bated breath here. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's get the music off. You're stunned because of what? Why are you stunned? Because I have not seen you in a while. Oh, well, welcome. Is it a schedule thing? Is it because I don't I don't do the the evening streams as often? Or is this like a years? Like you haven't seen me in a long time. Shoo. Shoo. Oh no, where am I? Pardon? Oh, there we go. <laughs> where did I go? We're fine. Don't worry about it. Let me know if the volume level is good. All right. 
Oh, is this a... Is this a controller game? That was me, not you. Although that does mean... I might need to find another one of these cables really quick. Looks good, or hears good, rather. Nice. <laughs> Vibration. No! Oh. Vibration. No! There we go. I was like, why did that change the resolution? And then it suddenly all made sense. Yeah. I think this is a bit of a spoopy game. So keep that in mind. What's your controller of choice? Um... The one that uh, I'm currently using a lot is uh, my Xbox one that says Duger on it in tiny letters. Cause it's making me laugh. It's making me laugh. Okay, let me see if I can find another one of these cables so that I can plug my baby monitor back in. Oh yeah. Love it. <sighs> Just some weird hand stuff, you know. Yeah, potential real spooky stuff going on here. Okay, guys. I legit haven't been able to catch Duke live in years. Welcome. Hello. I don't know why so many of you were able to join us today, but I'm delighted about it. All right. So, one more time in case some of you guys are showing up and you missed the pitch. Uh, this is a sponsored stream. Um, so thank you very much for the sponsorship. If you want to learn more about the game and also support me, you can do exclamation point Clem in chat. Um, and there will be a link that pops up. There's also a little picture below the stream that you can click um, and the link will take you to the game. The game is released today. It is a narrative focused puzzle game with some exploration elements to it, um, which sounds great. Those are the two things that I love. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is uh, the fourth game in a series of games, but it's it's been created in a way where it can be played as a standalone. So it's totally fine for us to be going into this blind. I have not played the other games. I will not be in any elevated position than the rest of you. <laughs> so, shall we wake up? Yes. Hey, you. Wake up and bring me beauty. And bring me beauty? Oh, I'm a doll! We're still in just chatting. Okay, one sec. Oh! Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. I got a little, I got a little bing bong on my head. Oh. Go to page. Lepidoptera, caterpillar. The butterfly is an insect belonging to the Lepidoptera family. Its most distinctive characteristic is the large variety of shapes and striking colors exhibited on its wings during adulthood. Its life cycle is similar to that of most insects passing through the phases of egg, larva, chrysalis, and adult. 
The change that they experience during metamorphosis is what gives the compelling exuberance elixir its properties. Only if we use the scales from its wings and the correct proportions together with other cosmetic reagents. For thousands of years, I don't know why I didn't expect there to be like a like a spell spell cat alchemy sort of element to this. <clears throat> For thousands of years, butterfly wing scales have been one of the most commonly used animal-derived ingredients in alchemy. Their structure endows them with unique properties that can improve anyone's appearance. Maybe I could use them as an eye wash to have eyes as pretty as mums. Okay. Oh, why is it dark now? Oh, okay. Is there something in here? I need to climb up there, right? Oh, there's there's a little mousy hole there. Optera means winged. The Latin often describes the apparent descriptions. There you go. Oh, okay. The dining room clock is missing a hand. There's a little, there's a little key there. Locked. Take. Next to the clock, I saw a photo of a cat or maybe it was a painting. I don't really know how to tell the difference. Anyway, what I wanted to write down was that when I looked at the cat, I felt bad. I think it's because it's dead. Is that what they call sadness? There's a strange painting in the dining room. It's broken. <gasps> Bees? Bees are social insects which live in colonies called hives. All activity within the hive revolves around the queen, the only bee capable of laying eggs that produce worker bees. All the bees within the hive share an unwavering bond that makes them collaborate unconditionally for the good of the colony. To defend themselves, bees have a stinger situated at the end of their abdomen, which they can use to inject their foes with a venom called apitoxin. Bees will use their stinger th without hesitation, even though doing so will bring about their death. What a shame to think that the bee that stung that annoying Lucy must be dead now. It wouldn't have stung her if she hadn't been distracted like she always is, boring us with all the things she knows about hallucinogenic mushrooms. The apitoxin from the bees is a potent reagent to modify modify hostile behavior and make it akin. Okay, so I'm I'm writing things as though I'm a little kid, but I'm a doll. So what is I a kid first? Maybe? Oh. Okay. This looks like there's a little door here. Yeah, maybe my soul's been put in this doll. That's what I'm saying. This way. Leave. <gasps> A booper fly. Hmm. 
Okay. That butterfly might be in that room now. Missing a piece, it looks like. I see. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing a piece. All right. Okay. Okay. I think the butterfly is back in that room. this way out of curiosity what am I taking okay I don't have any keys About this. Should we close the window? I don't think I'm big enough to close the window. I'm just a little guy, you know? I'm just a little guy who. I don't know. Boofer fly. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> he did go back outside. I found a book on the little table in the piano hall. All the letters have faded and I can't make out what it says. Trilobite. Trilobites were the first arthropods to live on land. Their bodies were divided into three parts, a head, a thorax, and a tail. Its head and thorax were similar to the crustaceans that nowadays are known as wood lice by their tail while their tails were much like those of the prawn and the lobster there are more than 20,000 known species of trilobites since they were the dominant marine animal during millions of years there were many sizes of trilobite from less than one millimeter to some 30 centimeters in length trilobite fossils are used to make the results of a ritual longer lasting since they store the vital energy present in the planet millions of years ago a purer and more intense energy than that available now the main problem being that the large ones are very expensive. Ladybirds, grasshoppers, beetles. I'm feeling a little deja vu-y because uh, Clark asked me to read her bug book tonight. <laughs> I can close them. Oh my gosh, I'm just a little guy. Close. Oh, no. Close. And then, why not? No. Oh 
goodness. Okay, hold on. Maybe I have to take those boards off of the other door. Well, to be fair, I don't, I have a way to, I have like a nail gun, which wouldn't help me take nails out. So it, <laughs> so it makes sense, you know? I tried to nail it shut. That's what I did first. I don't know what those things are. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nail gun. Blocked. Okay, maybe there's something else. I haven't tried this door up here. Maybe I can rip the wood off of this door. Yeah, there's a key. That's what I was trying to figure out. Ooh, combine. Separate. Ooh. Combine. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There were no nails in the nail gun. Yeah. Okay. Important questions with important answers. The clock is missing a hand, so there's no point to trying to change the time on the clock. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, oh no. Hi. Okay. <laughs> No. Goodness gracious. Uh, okay. So now what? I can't break it. Someone's written bring me beauty, but it's not my writing. Does it want me to, to dig up the... Uh... I don't know, what am I gonna find here? Well done. A key. But a key to what? Wait a sec. 
Might as well check in here first. And mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. this is not a demo. The game is fully released. It just came out today. It is on Steam as well as Switch. I, I'm trying to jar the butterfly. I can't currently. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh ho! Dad, I hope you never open this drawer because if you do, I'll tell mom like I did last time so that she tells you off again. Stop taking my toys. Okay. Pantry, there was a locked drawer. Okay. I know it's made of brass and mother of pearl, even though I don't know what those things are. <laughs> okay. doesn't want me to have that anymore. Hello. Okay. So. Lens of truth. You have the lens. Well done. Ooh, this is one of the first toys I made for myself when I started studying magic, witchcraft, and alchemy. Through the lens, you're able to see things that are invisible to the naked eye. It's really easy to use. All you need to do is look at something through the lens and move it slowly over the object to discover hidden secrets. It's only made up of two parts. It's really only a gadget for beginners, but I'm proud of it anyway because I made it myself when I'd only just turned five. To make it, I took a piece of quartz, cleaned it, and rubbed it until I could see the light within it that's normally hidden. To transfer my energy to the glass, I needed something metal to grasp the quartz. Luckily, Mum let me use the handle from an old handheld mirror that I found in the attic. When I'm not using the lens, I take it apart and hide the handle in the drawer where we keep things for Bones, the cat, and the crystal in the hands of Thea. Only I know how to move the arm. Dad won't ever be able to take it from me. Mwahahaha. Okay, interesting. <gasps> Hello, guys. I'm so sorry I missed the raid until right now. Welcome, everybody. Hi, guys. We are sponsored right now, playing a game called Clem. It's a, a narrative puzzle exploration game where we wake up as a doll in this creepy house. Um, and there's like some magic alchemy sort of elements that we're trying to figure out. Oh, bro. Yes, lens of truth, dude. 
Ho ho. <gasps> oh. Oh. Pansy. The pansy is a hybrid ornamental plant obtained from the wild species Viola tricolor. It belongs to the Viola genus and forms part of the Viola say family. The first documented examples of the pansy appear two centuries ago, cultivated by the royalty of the humid islands. The passionate reception of this plant among the upper classes that possessed the ideal steel greenhouses led to the creation within just two decades of more than 400 varieties of pansies. The pansy flowers in December. Its flowers measure some six centimeters in diameter and usually possess five petals arranged in a very characteristic fashion. Two overlapping upper petals, two side petals, a bottom petal wider than the others on which appears a velvet beard which emanates from the center of the flower. Producing a nectar high in the levulose, these flowers are particularly appealing to all classes of Lepidoptera. Oh, the butterfly making the pansy an infallible attractor of mutualistic species that assure the propagation and survival of the plant in any environment in which said organisms thrive. Got it. Say no more. Yeah, there might be spoops in the game. We're not sure yet. So far, it's just unsettling, but no actual spoops yet. Oops, oops. Oh. I thought for sure I was gonna need to put that flower in the jar and then wait for the butterfly to go in the jar. But maybe I need to put it in the vase? In the vase? Hello. Hmm. Okay. Go back in there, please. There's a surprise for you. Ho, ho, ho. To who? Well done, but we are not finished yet. Set. You did beauty. Determination. The snail is a mollusk which moves very slowly by dragging its body along the ground. It has a spiral shaped hard shell in which it can hide when it feels threatened. Another peculiarity is that the snail is a hermaphroditic animal and as such can take on either male or female characteristics according to the manner in which it develops. It can live on land or in water, is equally comfortable in hot climates such as that found in deserts or cold climates like that of the sea floor, although what snails like most is to soak up the sun after a gentle rainfall. The rituals which use snails always have one thing in common, the alchemist was, must wait patiently while the live snail crawls from the outside, from outside the pentagram to the center. Many accept defeat before the ritual is complete. I suppose you must really want something badly to wait patiently for so long. OK. 
Okay. A fly this time. Oh, good. I love them. What do I have? Do I still have my stuff? I do. I wonder if anything will be different in the house now. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, let's go back to the tool shed. Oh. Oh. That got ripped open. about in here? Anything different? Different or new? No. Yeah, I dug up the grave. So, yeah. Yarp. <gasps> Heronbug, thank you for the four years. Goodness gracious. Thank you. Happy anniversary. was a key in the grave. Uh, yeah, I had already grabbed it last time. Oh, you're explaining that's why we dug up the grave. Okay. I thought you were saying that the key was back there again, and I was like, why? <laughs> oh, this door's open now. this runic key i'm sure the key will be very useful i don't have a problem closing doors with a spell but i'm not so good at opening them until now because i finally have the runic key it's like a lock pick but way cooler because i made it and it has really cool engravings the creation ritual was a bit more difficult than the one I did for the Lens of Truth, but in the end, I found all the special items I needed around the house, and it turned out just how I imagined. It's amazing, because I managed to get the floating stones to move just how I wanted, without them knocking into each other. When I showed it to Mum, when I show it to Mum, she's going to be so impressed. Now I'll be able to create any combination I need to open doors, drawers, locks. No keyhole in the house will be able to keep me out.
Sometimes it takes me a while to <laughs> figure out how these sorts of puzzles work. Am I trying to lift them? I think I'm trying to do the opposite of what I'm doing right now. Can I, yeah, reset it, okay. I'm trying to push these up, I think. Yeah. But how far? There we go. Oh my gosh, to the most handsome man of the house and the entire town. I still remember how happy you made me when you said yes to taking that trip around the world with me. It was our first trip together and it was so special. You'd only just finished your course specializing in psychochemistry and I still had a few years left of my entomology degree. You didn't want me to miss classes during the three weeks the trip lasted, but when I showed you the quantity of amazing flowers and bugs we were going to discover, I made all of your fears disappear. I know I ended up repeating the year, but we learned so much on that trip, didn't we? I was able to see giant beetles, blue collared bees, the rarest of butterflies while you were fascinated by the fire lilies, violet anemones, and your beloved pansies. Although I've no doubt that the thing you enjoyed most about the trip were the spirits we had the chance to try, am I right? You should have seen how your eyes shone as you opened each new bottle and you took the chance to explain to me everything you'd learned at university. The rum was the one we liked the most, wasn't it? We also really liked the cherry schnapps that we tried near the burning marble valley, but we both agreed that the rum from Angel Island was the best of the trip. And do you remember the herb liqueur they gave us at Misty Mountain? We only took one sip because of how little we liked it. It was awful. Ah, uh, yes, in Labyrinth Seas, they gave us a bottle of gin, and on the trip to Mystic Cave, we tried the local whiskey. I remember that the one we liked most was the one we drank on the clifftop, watching the little boats heading out to sea from the river. The other one was tasty, too, but the best thing about it was that we drank it surrounded by fireflies just before bed, a beautiful moment. It's been ten years since that trip, and to mark the occasion, I've decided to prepare a surprise for you. I don't want to just give it to you. I'd prefer that we play a bit and you discover it for yourself. Given that you're nearly as intelligent as me, I'm sure it won't take you long to solve the riddle. Here we go. Distill our memories and you'll find the key that will take us to our new sanctuary. Have you got it yet? Come on, it's not that difficult. And by the way, Clem helped me prepare the game. She said if you need a clue, you can ask her and she'll help you with one of her toys, but that in exchange, you'll have to stop taking them away from her. Seems like a good deal to me. Anyway, you've got some distilling to do. I'll be waiting for you in the sanctuary. Don't take long. Man, what happened to this family? Why am I a doll? Okay, so... Cherry Schnapps Burning Marble Valley. Before I woke up in the same place again, I keep hearing a voice asking me for things. Now the door to this room just closed on its own. It doesn't have a lock. I don't know how I'm going to get out. The magic key I found was only useful for unlocking that drawer. Inside were just pieces of paper. Okay. Angel Island, Misty Mountain. Labyrinth Seas and Mystic Cave. Thank you. 
Oh, there's something else in there. I've just realized Dad took away all my toys while I was at camp. Tonight I'm going to take them back and hide them where no one will find them. I've hidden all the toys, but I nearly got caught. While I was in the study, I thought I heard footsteps. Because I didn't have the teleport charm, I had to quickly carry out a ritual to close the door to stop Dad from catching me. With the spell in place, the study door will close behind me every time I enter and only open again if I disappear from the room or if I use some green books from my dad's library to form the symbol for temperance. At first, I tried to do it with discretion, but I got nervous because of the footsteps, and I didn't do it right. I think I moved something on the other side of the door, though. In the end, nothing happened, and Dad didn't catch me. I haven't undone the spell in case I need it again. I didn't think I'm going to have everything... I need to start my project just with mum's books. Tomorrow night I'll close myself in dad's study and take a look at the botanical encyclopedias. I'm sure I'll find something interesting. Okay. Temperance. Dragonfly is a flying insect with two pairs of wings and a slender long body. It feeds on other insects and spends most of its day hunting them. Although it can fly fast and pursue its prey, it prefers to take its time and observe its options from an elevated position. With the best eyes of any insect and the ability to float in the air thanks to its four large wings, the dragonfly waits patiently at a height for the perfect moment to trap its food. If we want to achieve a calm spirit, there's nothing better than a crystal charged with the light reflected from the eyes and wings of an adult dragonfly. During tomorrow's field trip, we'll try and charge crystals with dragonfly light. The teacher said if someone gets it right at the first attempt, he'll bias each a philosopher's stone. Not sure why he was laughing when he said it. I'm, um... I'm curious if the magic in this game is real. You know? <laughs> the symbol for temperance. But I think I'm missing a book. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Lol. Oh. But what is wrong here? Hmm. You're a walking puppet. My guess is magic's real. Am I a walking puppet, though? <laughs> or am I a little kid that uh, feels like sort of outside of their body for one reason or another. I'm just saying. Magic might not be real. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Almost. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. 
this yet. Label says by cartonade. Whatever, it's empty. Okay, interesting. Goodness. We haven't gone back up here. it in one. Let's go. What's this? Ah, oh, plastic candle for a shut off valve. Blocked. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, let's go back to the bathroom. This, yeah, the wilder. <gasps> what do 
do I use this for? Huh. Some of the keys have symbols on them, like the ones from the first pages of the notebook. The small ones don't have anything. If I want to do something with the piano, I need to keep searching. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Here we go. Oh, what's that gold one? Oh, interesting. Catch the fly. It's like a big spoon, but you couldn't eat soup with it. It's still just like a big spoon you couldn't use to eat soup, but now it's sticky. Is gonna be to grab the fly, but that's not what it is. something out here. been a couple of rooms where there's like holes maybe I can line it up with like the hole in this room me what to do with this.
needed to read it again it's written out in one order but it's described in a different order that's my bad because it was like oh the rum was so good we also really liked this but the rum was great so I think Rum from Angel Island was the best of the trip. I also really liked the cherry schnapps we tried near Burning Marble Valley. Yeah, so I think these need to be swapped. Do you remember the herb liqueur they gave us in Misty Mountain? We took one sip because of how little we liked it. There we go. Thanks. It's like a golden ball, very heavy and shiny. Okay. Oh, right, and now I'm gonna have to do this again. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily the order they drank it in. It was or the order that they're like listed. It's in order by how much they liked them. Okay, so Maybe I need to now give this to the statue because the statue held the other orb thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well done. Thanks. see the slug or the snail on the snail is repeating. Maybe it'll do something different if the bird isn't there. Yeah, well this is the this is the determination section and it talked about the snail and was like the ritual you do with a snail 
is you literally put it on the outside of a magic circle and you just wait for a really long time. <laughs> like, are you determined enough to do the spell? Hello. exactly what it said. The snail likes most is to soak up the sun after a gentle rainfall. Okay, there's our gentle rainfall. And then we turn it off. No, it won't. After after I've done the rain and turned off the rain, it won't let me move again. So, yeah, maybe this, and then this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hi, little buddy. I'd like to go in my little jar. And now I take you to this weird child. And now I wake up again. And now I wake up again. <laughs> This is a really interesting game.
the spider. The spider is the most common arachnid. It has eight legs and two or more pairs of eyes. It's an excellent predator and adapts its hunting techniques to suit the place where it lives and the prey on which it feeds. Almost all spiders are able to spin a very fine resistant thread to construct webs and burrows. They can also immobilize their prey with venom or surprise them with rapid movements. They're the best to get rid of mosquitoes. Spider brain is the best ingredient for the exchange ritual. By sacrificing just a couple of days, the ritual will enable any alchemist to solve the most difficult problems which they might face. The most complicated part is extracting the spider brain without damaging it. If not done correctly, the time spent is wasted and nothing is gained in return. Okay. Yeah, guys, we are sponsored today playing this game. Uh, the game is called Clem. We're like a little doll, maybe homunculus type thing. And uh, we're exploring a very strange house and trying to find, so far, um, different insects, bugs. Uh, oh. There's something outside. Uh, for a little girl who can speak to us in our mind. Um, and so as we play, we're able to access more and more of the house and do different puzzles to gain access to different places um, and figure more things out. So it's been really fun. You can find it on Switch and also on Steam on PC. It's available now, uh, February the 6th. So if you've been watching and you've been having a good time, go check it out. Is there a person out here? I'm not supposed to play more than an hour of this game, but is there a person out here? <laughs> but excuse me though. Should we go in here really quick? Let's go in. What's the worst that could happen? Dolls. Oh, it's one of these. Using myself now. Thank you. 
There we go. God. Excellent. Hello, Clem. If you're reading this, then you're looking for your charm. I'm sorry, but it's not here anymore. I've told you a thousand times I can't stand it when you disappear while I'm talking to you. Magic's real. <laughs> I'll keep hold of it until you grow up a bit. Maybe get out of the house for some fresh air. This dad really said, I don't want you doing magic. Touch grass. <laughs> you might make some friends. Bottle of wine. Oh, playing in the wine library. This month, we challenge you to guess how you should store your bottles of wine to guarantee their perfect preservation. Young wines are not aged in casks and are bottled immediately. Crianza wines are those that have been aged for a minimum of 24 months, of which 6 to 12 months have been spent in a cask. In what position should you place these bottles to maintain the fresh and fruity flavor? Wines of this category have a total aging period of at least 36 months, 12 of which should be spent in oak casks. How would you store them to be sure of preserving all the subtle tones? Thanks to a longer aging period of five years, at least 18 months of which in casks, these wines acquire a complexity and depth of aroma far superior to the others. Okay. Yeah, you know, maybe she just took make a friend really literally. And who can blame her? Look how cute I am. Look how cute I am, dude. Super cute. Very cute. I know. Look, you don't got to tell me. I know. <gasps> Lens of truth. 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 Bong. Lens of truth. Lens of truth. Lens of truth. Lens of truth. Mm hmm. It is like a sideways K, you're right. Oh, little guy! Oh, come back! Oh. Yeah, it definitely moved its eyeballs, right? All right, I need to stop coming in here. Henry Hoover is the name of that um, vacuum, yeah. to solve this puzzle though.
Find a hidden symbol on the wall beside the piano. Okay. Basement, there's a pile of wine magazine. It looks like all the additions from 1 to 143 are here. And the last one had some pages marked. But then why didn't it... Wait. Why didn't it save that? one in here. Nor. symbol is the K. Discretion. Sometimes during the woodland field trips, I feel like the stick insects are silently watching me. Turn it off anymore. Wait, which one was the dragonfly? Is that temperance? Yeah. It says, bring me intelligence. What could she possibly want these bugs for? Oh, wait, did I not put the bottle there? <laughs> wait, but also, how come this didn't get added to my deets, you know? How would you place the bottles containing these youthful wines? Okay, so green, blue, yellow, red. Oh! Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, got it. I completely missed. <laughs> that 
that that was an option. Okay, look, we're just gonna do. We're just gonna do the wine thing, and then and then I'll and then <laughs> it will be done, okay? Are there just gonna be more and more and more flies? I don't like it. Okay, inventory. Okay. Okay, notebook. The red wants to be on its own. Blue wants to be in a box. So maybe red, blue, blue, yellow, 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 yellow. Oh my god, I'm just so good at puzzles. <laughs> Excellent. What is this? Must have something in it. Separate. A teleport charm. Ooh, you found a charm. It's amazing. You'll see. This house is huge. When I need to search for the ingredients for my rituals, I have to wander through loads of rooms, up and down stairs, across the garden. I'm sick of it. I need something to help me get around quicker and that doesn't tire me out. Thinking about that has reminded me of my favorite series, Full Iron Alchemist. When they're in a jam, Edgar and Alfred are able to make things appear by drawing transmutation circles on the floor. I wonder if I could do something like that and use the circles to appear wherever I want. Of course I can. I've drawn various circles around the house to enable me to use them. I've made myself a teleport charm out of a silver medallion and a few amethyst crystals to concentrate energy. If a few days go by, if a few days go by without using them, the portals deactivate, but I can reactivate them by approaching them with the charm. Once the portals are active, teleporting is as easy as tossing the charm up in the air. I'll appear in the portal of my choice. Very cool. Okay. Ho oh ho. Okay, I need to go. I have to I have to stop. <laughs> this is a super fun game. This is really, really fun. Um, I love how we're like slowly unlocking more and more of the house and going to more and more places. Uh, the puzzles have been really fun. I like it. We can play more, right? Please, if you guys would like us to play more. Absolutely, we can play more of this game. It look I mean, it looks like like look at this. If I'm supposed to find all of these, there's a decent amount to do in the game. So, yeah. Egoism. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> I 
Awesome. Yeah, we'll play more of it then. Absolutely. Um, thank you so much to Iceberg Interactive for sponsoring us today. This has been a super, super fun game. Again, it's available now. February the 6th, it was released today. And you can play it on Switch. You can play it on Steam. Um, and it's, it's like an exploration narrative puzzle game. That's been very cool and very, you know, uh, creepy interesting. So I've had a good time with it. We've obviously had a good time with it because uh, y'all want to watch more. So definitely check it out. If you would like to check it out, you can use exclamation point Clem in my chat. And there's an adorable link that you can click. It's so crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I sleep. Oh. <laughs> I was like, forget. Oh no. Is that like start over? Interesting. All right. That's been that. Um, let me read off our activity feed and then I'm gonna get going. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Leisure Wave, thank you for the 73 months. Sindar, uh, thank you for the 35. Ali Rose for the 42. Neka Lucifer for the 20. Arnar for the gifted sub, thank you so much, bud. Joe Fudge, thank you again for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, any of you who stuck around after the raid from Joe? Thank you, I appreciate it. Heronbug, thank you again for the four years. Happy anniversary. Buttons for the one year. Thank you so much, happy anniversary. And Dorian for the 88. Thanks so much. Go ahead and raid Sam. Uh, go say hi. Spread love, spread joy. I will see you guys around. Next time I will be streaming is tomorrow. Uh, we're continuing to play some demos because it's Next Fest this week. So uh, if you want to see some demos, come hang out. And if you're curious what demos we played today, what we've already covered so far, um, you can find that in my Discord. There's a, there's a little forum in there for just suggesting games. And I also posted in there about the games that we've played so far. So... Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.